all right guys welcome to another video today we have some new limit time cards in the game and i promise you i'm gonna get everything figured out when it comes to my computer for some reason obviously whenever we get a new computer everything gets a little fancy and a little wonky we'll be making a video on my second channel today going ahead and looking at my brand new pc nonetheless though common day coming in boom lucas who says you earn my sub with this right here Appreciate you very much, Lucas. Like all for this video, guys. Can we smash 75 likes? And finally, question of the day is going to go ahead and be, which of these two limited time cards is your personal favorite? So let's go ahead and start off right away with our first limited time card being Derek Carr. Now, of course, these cards are in the game for 48 hours. They do have a quick sell value of 500,000 coins. So if you do pull any of these cards, let's say you go ahead and pull a crap ton of packs, right? And you do pull one of these cards, you were able to go ahead and pretty much make your coins back. That's what I love about limited time cards this year. My personal preference is I wouldn't have started them out at such a high overall quick sell. If I would have started them out around 100,000 coin quick sell, but of course, was, that's what EA wanted to do so that's what EA went ahead and done so nonetheless let's go ahead and take a real look at Mr. Derek Carr coming in at 93 throw power 90 throw short 84 throw middle and 81 throw deep very very nice quarterback 79 speed so he's gonna have really good speed and all honesty if you upgrade this card correctly you could really make this card Honestly, really OP and definitely a monster now. I personally love Michael Vick as my quarterback but I kind of can't see me realistically moving on from Vic and maybe getting another quarterback. And maybe this card right here, Derek Carr, could be a really good option. Of course, if you go ahead and max him out with tier 10, you could even get him to 82 speed. Plus Sprinter Chem, which is, I believe, 84 speed. You can really max out this card and make him look really good. Now, he is not a powered up card, meaning that he cannot obviously go a little bit higher than this. This is going to be his final version, other than adding a scheme cam, a base cam, and let's see, what does he have? Throw power, so he can get Gunslinger, because he has 90 throw power. So that's actually not that bad. He actually can do a really, he can become a really great card. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at the second card today, and that's going to be Everson Griffin. Everson Griffin coming in at a 91 overall. Everson Griffin coming in with 87 block shed, 91 pursuit, 87 tackle, 83 hit power, 93 power move, uh, 85 finesse move, 90 play rack, 79 speed, and 90 awareness. Now, is it just me or have we really gotten a lot of right and left ends lately? Like... EA, please take a step back with these right and left ends. We got J.J. Watt, we got Howie Long, we got Bruce Smith, we got Reggie White, we got Everson Griffin. I mean, if we go ahead and take a look, I just want to take a look at this real fast, just for my own curiosity. I want to see how many left ends we have at a high overall currently. Because I know we recently have gotten a lot of left ends at a high overall. So we have Howie Long, J.J. Watt. Everson Griffin, we have a higher overall Team Diamond, Cameron Jordan, Reggie White, Bruce Smith, obviously the 90 overall JJ Watt Gatorade card. We have Joel Casey, Aaron Don. So we do have a lot of left and right ends at a very high overall. Now I'm not sure if that's this EA wants to start off the year with going ahead and really powering up and overpowering the defensive line. And obviously they've done a they've done a good job of releasing offensive linemen too to help that with like for example Alex Mack, right? So I don't know if that's what they're trying to do, is just really bolster both offensive line and defensive line. I know we all know at the beginning of the year, speed is kind of something they want to stick away from. And obviously, speed would be more releasing receivers and corners. And of course, you know, that T.Y. Hilton last week, though, was pretty OP and pretty nice. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.